assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am audio technical developer before talking about uh, the today's topic i would like to request you to first of all just uh, take a few seconds and subscribe our youtube channel uh, that really means a lot for us and the second thing is uh, that if you need any help related to the videos that uh, we have uploaded on the youtube you can join our discard group and the link of the discard group is in the description of the video you can just check it out and click on the link and you can join the group and ask for help uh, there so uh, the top for today our topic is uh, how to create reporting in Udo for uh, our custom module uh, Udo Open Academy so reporting can be uh, multiple types like uh, uh, we can create reporting from the views different kind of views like uh, uh, Kanban view uh, tree view and uh, pivot view and we can also create some PDF reports uh, from Udo so for pdf reports Odoo uses a report engine based on qweb twitter bootstrap and wk html to pdf these three things must be uh, installed on your system otherwise your pdf report will not work so pdf report contains two elements uh, the first one is a, a record of ir dot actions dot report for which a uh, sh uh, report shortcut element is provided uh, so what this uh, does this will just create an um, a print button on the record uh, which will help you to create the pdf report it set up various basic parameter for the report for example the report type that what kind of report you want to print it uh, either you want to print it as a pdf or you just want to uh, open it as html page whether the report should be saved to the database after generation or not what should be the report name and uh, things like that you can add it here so these are the parameters of the report uh, uh, element i will just explain this in detail in this video and the next element is the qweb report view so this defines uh, the actual uh, layout of the report uh, on the pdf and also the xml layout so uh, because reports are standard web pages they are available through a url uh, and output parameters can be manipulated through this url for instance the html version of the invoice report is available through this so uh, we can just access the reports through the url also so this part i will uh, explain uh, later because you will not be able to uh, understand it properly now uh so let's just move on to the exercise for today for today we have exercise to create a report for the session model for each uh, session it should display session name on the pdf you want to display the session name the start date the end date and the list of session attendees so the first thing you we need to do for this purpose is to create uh, another directive for reporting uh files for example i will create a directory with the name reports and inside the directory we have to create an xml file with the name reports dot xml dot xml and here this file should be a normal xml file and add these two takes which are mandatory for each xml file in Udo. and after that uh, we have to add this report file in the manifest uh, this is mandatory otherwise it will not uh, work so here i will add reports uh, and then report start xml uh, because we have to add uh, the whole path to the file therefore we will have to add the directory reports and then uh, forward slash report start xml is the file name so uh, after that we have to define the report action so let me just uh, copy the report action from here so that we uh, add all the required parameters so you can also copy it from here uh, and then make any changes if needed so let me just copy it here 
and then uh, this is the report tag uh, and close it here uh, this is the id which is needed for every xml record uh, and in, it must be unique per uh, module uh, this is the model uh, of the report where you want to add the print button and this is the uh, string and label that will appear on the uh, screen uh, to print the report this is the uh, name of this report actions uh, uh, which is the combination of the module name open academy dot and the template uh, same is the file and then the report type which is uh, qa pdf there are some other optional parameters uh, which you can also add here which i will discuss uh, further in the video also which is attachment uh, true and then attachment uh, you can specify a condition and also the name of the attachment here so we will also cover this uh, two parameter also but let me first add uh, the basics uh, and the required parameter for the action so this is it and then we have to add uh, the template so let me again copy the code that is required for each template uh, until the div class is equal to s page take and then paste it here so close all the takes that are uh, open and needed to be closed so this is the template id uh, which must be the same as this uh, report name uh, these two must be same otherwise the report will not work uh, and then uh, we have to call html container which is uh, the whole uh, page and then here comes the uh, for each loop we are using the for each loop because we want to go through each record and print the data of each uh, session so tax will contain all the record sets that are uh, that we will select uh, here if i go to the open academy module and then sessions so go to the tree view so if i select multiple records here uh, then uh, this docs uh, variable will contain uh, these all selected records so if you select only one then it will be only one so we, therefore uh, in case of multiple we want to use a for each loop to go through each record and print the data of uh, each record on a separate page so this is uh, used for the header web dot external layout this is the uh, header and the footer which will come on each page and this is the page that we want to specify that uh, each record should be printed on a separate page so inside the page we have to add uh, the data that we want to uh, print on the pdf report uh, and we want to show on the pdf so here first of all uh, we have to add uh, we have to print the name of the report which uh, should be inside the s2 tag so let me copy the whole code and then i will explain each line uh, to save uh, our time so first of all we have added h2 tag uh, to print the name in capital as a header and then uh, we have to uh, print the dates of the session that start uh, then when the session will start and when it will end so from is the just text so we can add inside the paragraph tag so uh, all the html tags will work here on this uh, pdf because this uh, pdf in Udo are actually the web pages which are uh, converted to pdf using wkhtml to pdf engine so this is another uh, header head heading tag uh, which is h3 and uh, then we have used uh, another list in order to print the name of all the attendees that will attend the sessions so let me just uh, upgrade the module and uh, then we will see the change uh, that we have added 
so go to apps and then search for the module and click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see the print button and then on clicking the print button we will get uh, the pdf report so the same report can be uh, generated as xml report also we will uh, also generate that report uh, in this video so let me go to the list view and then open any record so here we can see the print button session report so let me click on the session report button and, and pdf report will generate it and um, download it automatically so um, this is it the report is generated so we can see this is the logo and header inside the header we can see the company information and company address and the company logo and then we have the h2 take which is the name of the session this is h2 take and then we have the date from day two and then the list of attendees which is an unordered list that we have added so this uh, header and the footer are uh, uh, actually due to uh, this uh, web dot external layout if we remove this then header and footer will be removed so i will uh, make a separate video on how to add a custom header and footer for a document and how to uh, customize the existing header and footer of uh, Odoo. So this is it uh, for the PDF report. Uh, so if you want to um, just open the HTML report, uh, so you can just do it by just changing the type to HTML and then uh, upgrade the module. So let me just do it uh, and show you how it uh, will look like. So click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see that the report will open up as an html page and you can print uh, the pdf report from there also so go to here and then go to sessions and then click the list view and then open in record and then click here so you can see that uh, an html page will open up and the format will be the same is uh, the pdf and you can print the pdf from here so let me just show you how to print multiple uh, uh, multiple records so let me just show you from here uh, upgrade the module so that uh, it uh, should download a pdf file and then i will show you how to print multiple records so after the module upgrade uh, we will be able to show you so here go to the sessions and then go to tribute to select multiple records at once and then click the print uh, button to print uh, the pdf so it will generate a single pdf file having three pages because there are three records and each page will contain each session detail so this is the first session and then the next page will contain the next session and then the third page will contain the third session details so each page have the same header and footer this is because we have added web dot external layout so uh, what else we have we have to uh, we have covered the report actions and then we have uh, talked about the qa template and then we discussed about the uh, report type and then we need to talk about the uh, attachment so uh, for the attachment we have uh, to install a separate module uh, with the name uh, attachment so let me just install the module first search in the apps uh, attachment so you can see this so install this module and then you will be able to see the attachment uh, button that will appear on each record uh, we'll be able to see the attachment option on each uh, record so if you go here and open any session so uh, we don't have a chatter for this uh, 
session model therefore we cannot see the attachment but if we oh, go to the courses and open any course so we will be able to see the attachment option here so we can see that um, we can attach the documents here uh, in this uh, with this document with this uh, record so the same way if we um, uh, if we add uh, attachment is equal to true then for each uh, print uh, we uh, an attachment will be created and it will be attached to this uh, record so uh, i will uh, just show you that uh, how you can edit uh, like this so let me just add uh, the attribute attachment is equal to true so so that i can show you that attachment will be created automatically and then we need, we need to define the attachment name so let me just copy from here the format so if we go here we can see this so let me just copy it from here and then paste it here so attachment uh, is equal to uh, it should be attachment uh, true sorry attachment use is equal to true and then attachment is equal to uh, the label here and uh, the next uh, this attribute uh, is to define the name of the attachment so here we don't have any state so let me just uh, remove it and then just uh, uh, define the the label here so let me just add something like this test and then object dot name so something like this and then dot pdf so let me just upgrade the module and then we will check uh, that if it is creating uh, attachments or not so let me upgrade the module and then after the module upgrade we will uh, print the report and then we will check from the settings that whether attachment created or not so let me just uh, in the next step let me create let me open the settings and then go to um, attachments menu so that we can check if attachments created or not so there are 23 attachments total so let me click here and then click uh, the print button so after the print the attachment should be uh, created so it will it should be attached to this record book, uh, but uh, we don't we have not added the chatter here therefore we cannot see it but we can check from here so if i refresh it we can see that it uh, is 24 node so a new document created a new attachment created here with the test auto technical webinar so this is uh, the attachment that has been created automatically so this way you can add the attachments also and here you can add the condition that we have added previously so you can just play with it and uh, if you face any issue you can join our discord group and ask for help there so thank you guys for watching this whole video and if you have enjoyed the video so please uh, click the like button and also subscribe this channel so and also please uh, share with your friend so that they can subscribe the channel and get the notification of uh, upcoming videos thank you